What's going on everybody? Landon here with Late Model Restoration. Here recently we showed all of you guys how to install a camshaft in your 302 or 351 base pushrod Mustang. Of course with any cam install it is extremely important to always check your piston to valve clearance. Today we're going to show you a general procedure on checking for proper piston to valve clearance. You're probably wondering what is piston to valve clearance. In a nutshell it is the clearance between the valve and piston, which is something anyone should check for when building an engine. The magic number for a street application is a 120 thousandths clearance between the valve and piston. Things you'll need before checking piston and valve clearance is obviously your short block, cylinder head, head gasket, roller rockers, push rods, and a dog bone or lifter retainer. Throw in our special piston and valve clearance lifters, digital or dial caliper, and some good old fashioned Play-Doh. Follow along guys as we walk you through the steps on checking for piston to valve clearance in your 302 or 351 pushrod Mustang. To get started, apply a small amount of oil to the lifters. Install the lifters into the engine block with the holes facing up and toward the center of the engine. Position one of the lifter retainers between the lifters and their marked orientation. These are also referred to as dog bones. Position your head gasket and the Play-Doh across the piston closest to the center of the block. Spray WD-40 on the bottom of the valve to prevent any Play-Doh from sticking. Position the head onto the engine block. Apply assembly lube to the ends of the push rods. Slide the push rods through the guide plates. Position two roller rockers onto the guide plate and push rods. Tighten your roller rocker set screws to zero lash. Zero lash is achieved when you can just barely turn the push rod with your fingers. Whatever cylinder you're working on, snug down the four cylinder head bolts or studs surrounding that particular cylinder. Now make two full rotations and return the keyway to the 12 o'clock position. Disassemble your rocker arms, push rods, and remove the head. If you notice, with a TrickFlow Stage 1 cam, 1.6 ratio roller rockers, and stock link push rods, the valve touched the Play-Doh. Cut the Play-Doh in half and measure the center point width with a caliper where the valve made contact with the Play-Doh. 120 thousandths is the absolute minimum when building an engine for a street application. If for some reason your valve made more contact and the Play-Doh was less than 120 thousandths, contact your local machine shop. If everything checks out okay and your piston to valve clearance is 120 thousandths or greater, you're all finished. Again guys, I can't stress enough how important this step is when assembling your engine. Never take it for granted and always, always check piston to valve clearance. If you want to see more knowledgeable videos like this one, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to pick up a piston to valve clearance kit for your engine build at LateModelRestoration.com.